Am I the asshole for telling my friend the cashier is only nice to him because it's her job? So there's a new cashier at a local grocery store, and she's admittedly good looking and nice. I, M23, was shopping there with my, M24, friend a while ago and ever since then he's been ecstatic about going there. He's obviously into her, and he's going on and on about how she's into him too. The thing is, she's just being nice to him. She's nice to me too. It's her job, right? My friend has been saying things like, he's learning her schedule and that she always makes his day. He also wants to ask for her number. I tell him that the only reason she's being nice to him is because it's her job. He's a customer. She's nice to everyone. He needs to get over his obsession. He got really upset, called me an ah, said I'm jealous etc. And so, I work at an adult shop, right? We get a loot of weird customers. I've experienced harassment at work and even more so has my female co-workers. So I know what it feels like, and I've seen real stalker behavior. We can't have our girls closing alone because some people wait outside just to be creeps. I tell this to my friend to explain my reasoning. He needs to respect this girl's workplace. He still doesn't get it. Says he'd never be one of those and that he knows she's into him too and I'm trying to steal her by being a nice guy. He basically stopped talking to me just because I told him to be respectful. I mean sure, she could very well be into him. But let her take the lead then. Am I an awe for saying all that? I really don't think I am, but a couple of our friends said it's none of my business and I should let him figure it out himself. Not the asshole, your friend is stalking her. He needs to stop. Not the asshole. Yeah. Nip this creeper shit in the bud. He's learning her schedule and that she always makes his day. He also wants to ask for her number. Dot. Says he'd never be one of those and that he knows she's into him too and I'm trying to steal her by being a nice guy. Oh, he already is. It's gross that he's so emotionally stunted that the 30 seconds of friendly interaction with the cashier gives him a boner and relationship goals. Not the asshole, and he absolutely is one of those guys. He openly admits to learning and tracking her schedule. He's creepy as hell and the fact that he's getting so aggressive and defensive about her like she's an object to be stolen is even more concerning. Not the asshole. We need more people like you willing to tell their friends when they've crossed a line. Not the asshole. Giving her his number is fine. Learning her schedule and going in when she's working is stalker behavior and incredibly concerning. Yes, she works in customer service. She's paid to be nice. Or maybe she's just a nice person. Maybe she is into him, but his approach will easily change her mind. Not the asshole. I've actually known a few women in the service industry who wear fake rings just so they won't get hit on. Knowing her schedule is just way over the line. Am I the asshole for refusing to my sister's wedding? I, M27, have a twin sister, F27. For as long as I can remember, my sister and I have always been close and had each other's backs. When she came out as gay, I was the first one she told. I supported her wholeheartedly. Three years ago, I was engaged to my then-girlfriend, Julie. We had met in college and became fast friends, eventually becoming a couple. I proposed to Julie and she said yes. Everything seemed fine, until I noticed that Julie had started to be a little more distant with me. Not giving me a cold shoulder or anything, but off. I asked her if she was okay. She said she's fine, but would like some space for a while. I was worried, but I respected her wishes and gave her space. A few weeks later, she broke up with me. I was devastated and didn't know what happened. I reached out to my sister for support and she was there for me. She and Julie had gotten along really well, so I asked her if she knew what happened. She was hesitant, but said yes. I asked to explain and she said it's not her place to tell me. I kept pushing, but my sister stood her ground and said that she can't say why and Julie will tell me when and if she's ready. Well, she did. Turns out Julie was bisexual but thought it was just passing feelings. She'd never been with a girl before. She spoke to my sister about it, and my sister helped her realize her true sexuality and feelings. Her words. Julie told me that it wouldn't be fair to either of us if she didn't embrace her true self and the fact that she no longer had the same feelings for me she had before. I was stunned, but eventually accepted it. We parted on good terms, even if it was awkward. I was heartbroken, but eventually moved on, didn't start dating or want to though for a while. Then, one day, I found out Julie had started dating another girl, my sister. I was shocked and, admittedly, a bit angry at both of them. I had an argument with my sister. My sister swore they didn't do anything while she was with me, but Julie had admitted she had a crush on my sister. 
My sister liked her back, but didn't do anything because of me. She swore she didn't make Julie dump me to be with her. The sad part was, I could tell she was telling the truth. After that, my relationship with my sister wasn't as great as it used to be. I stopped talking to her as much or visiting. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, and my sister comes over alone and tells me that she and Julie are engaged, and she was here to invite me to the wedding. The rest of the conversation was a blur, but after she left, I drank. A lot. And after thinking about it for a few days, I told my sister I wouldn't be attending her wedding. She was heartbroken and begged me to come, because she wanted me there. Even my mom called me, asking me to come. I told her no. Regardless, I refused to go. I just can't stand having to be there in the crowd and see my sister marry the woman I had planned to marry. IDK. Maybe I'm just holding a grudge. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. I mean your sister crossed the line in my opinion. I would never date any of my brother's exes. Even if I had feelings, that is a line I would never cross. Not the asshole. What kind of sibling goes for your ex? I feel like that's breaking so many codes. Not the asshole it's bad enough she's with your ex but to know how it affected you and still asked you to come to the wedding is insane. I don't understand how she thought that interaction was going to go. In what universe were you supposed to graciously accept that invitation? Not the asshole your sister and Julie. If I knew how to use Reddit I'd do the Rachel saying Julie and friends gif, are the fucking assholes. I'd refuse too and I probably would never forgive them or want anything to do with either of them it is just immoral. Don't let your parents guilt you into it because it shows how much they are assholes too. They should be telling your sister actually it isn't appropriate to invite your sister after what you've done to her. Sending love. Not the asshole your engagement broke down only three years ago. To be expected to watch your ex-fiancé walk down the aisle to anyone else, especially your sibling so soon as a definite no. You do not need to disguise the hurt you feel for the benefit of someone who honestly does not care about your feelings. If you are uncomfortable supporting their relationship, then you should not attend the wedding. But, please, don't resort to drinking to deal with their actions, decisions. Your sister knew this would make you uncomfortable and that's why she didn't tell you when they started dating. That's on her. She should have been up front with you. Am I the asshole for calling out a double standard from my dad and his wife in front of her friends and family? This happened three weeks ago and there is still lots of fallout so I wanted to find out what others would say. My dad is married to Jen. Dad has me, 17 female, and my brother, 15 male, with our mom. Mom died when we were 3 and 5. Jen has a daughter, 18 female, and two sons, 16 male, and 15 male, with her ex-husband. Jen is also a grandma since her daughter had a baby a few weeks ago. Jen and my dad married when I was 11. From day one she approached me and my brother about being our parent, about how she would call us her kids how she'd love us to call her mom and stuff. I never called her mom. My brother did once but felt bad about it and stopped. I have asked Jen not to call herself my mom or me her daughter. She told me it wasn't my decision. Dad told me it was the best thing for us. Jen's kids do not call my dad, dad. My dad does not call them his kids. He never introduces them in that way and neither does Jen. But dad will say, mom, when referring to Jen. It bothers me. They always said Jen's kids have their dad living and neither he nor they would like my dad to be known as anything but their stepfather. I hate the double standard because my mom is no less my mom than Jen's kid's dad is their dad. Only my mom died so she can't complain. But even their feelings are supposedly right while mine are wrong. My dad isn't even grandpa to Jen's grandchild. The baby is going to be told to call my dad by his first name and Jen's daughter corrects anyone who calls him grandpa or him and Jen the grandparents. So like I said three weeks ago Jen had family and friends around and she was celebrating being a grandma and someone there was new and she told the person she was my mom. I stepped in and corrected her. She told me she was my mom since she was raising me and my brother. I went off on her and my dad about the double standard. Saying my mom wasn't less important than her ex because she was dad and that my feelings should matter just as much as her kids feelings do. I told her I never accepted her as my mom and I never wanted to be known as her daughter. They are so pissed I went off in front of people. Well, they're pissed I feel this way at all, but they're not happy I did it so publicly. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. This has been boiling up for a while. She knew you didn't like it but carried on. She made it public by calling herself your mum in front of others. Serves them right. As a child if divorced parents, your feelings are what matter here, double standard aside. 
If you don't feel Jen is your mom then she isn't. I made it very clear to both my folks that I would not be calling their spouses even stepdad or stepmom. They are my parents' husband, wife. I already have a dad and a mom. Seems even more insulting to try to force someone into that position considering your mom has passed. The more I think about it the more messed up it seems. Not the asshole. Not the asshole here's where it all went wrong. From day one she approached me and my brother about being our parent, about how she would call us her kids, how she'd love us to call her mom and stuff. I never called her mom. My brother did once but felt bad about it and stopped. I have asked Jen not to call herself my mom or me her daughter. She told me it wasn't my decision. It most definitely is your decision, no matter how young you were when your dad and your stepmom met. You didn't lash out for no reason, it's years of built up frustration of ignoring your truth. She's your stepmother, not your mom. Not the asshole. You were five and likely have come memories of your mom Jen should never have tried to supplant or replace your mom, and instead been focused on being an awesome, bonus mom. You have every right to protect and defend your feelings about wanting only your mother to have that title. WTF? Not the asshole. I hate when people don't consider their kids' feelings. And this really comes off as your dad trying to replace your mom with his wife which is. EU. Just EU. I'm sorry you're going through that op. Not the asshole. It's like they're trying to make you and everyone else forget your literal mother and let Jen replace her. Your feelings here aren't just valid, they're all that matters. Jen isn't your mom. She has no right to expect you to say that she is. Am I the asshole for telling my wife to shut up during labor? First of all, I, F, was pregnant and I gave birth two days ago. Our first child was from my wife's pregnancy, F, and we decided that this time it would be me who would give birth to our daughter. My wife had a natural, home and humanized birth. It was a unique but extremely terrifying moment. I was in doubt about which birth I would like to have, because I was very afraid of the natural and of the pain, labor. But my wife encouraged me and said that it was a unique moment, without demeaning cesarean mothers, and that it was worth every second. So I decided to have a natural and humanized, but hospital birth. When my water broke and I went to the hospital, out of encouragement, she didn't push or stay on top, I decided to go ahead without anesthesia. Do you know hell? I played rock paper scissors and lost best of three with the devil and came back. It was a lot of pain in the expulsion phase, oh my god. I just followed it because I hate needles and it's enough at the end, I didn't want a needle in the back. Trying to justify it, I would have a panic attack at the beginning if I asked for anesthesia, but it would be at the beginning, but in the end with a panic attack it is not possible. My wife was wonderful, honestly, but due to the stress of childbirth and the pain, she was irritating me a lot, saying, go strong, op, go on, you're strong, just a little longer, and when she said, can you take a little more pushing, I just said, shut up, I'm just like this because you decorated and flowered this birth for me, I was screaming and crying. She went quiet and our daughter was born after a while. I honestly forgot I said that, it was really a moment and in a lot of pain, but I noticed she was weird with me after we went to the house. After one day of silent treatment, I asked her why she was like this and she got mad saying, don't you know? You told me to shut up at the birth of our daughter. I was so embarrassed and almost ruined the moment. I even apologized and explained that it was purely for the moment, but she is super upset with me. Am I the asshole? Extra. The birth wasn't that traumatizing for me, by the way. Not the asshole fathers get cursed up, down, and sideways by laboring mothers and get over it just fine. Your wife should be able to handle a, shut up, lol. Not the asshole, she's being absurd. People in labor get a pass for saying things that aren't acceptable any other time. If she was truly hurt by it, she should have gently discussed it with you, but instead she gave you the silent treatment? After you just gave birth? That's not okay. Not the asshole. My mom literally yelled at my dad to fuck off while she was giving birth to me. He did not take it personal and they even laughed about it after. Labor can be difficult with or without pain relief. She needs to check herself. Not the asshole I mean I get getting told to shut up may not feel great. But she can't blame you for saying that. Women say crazy things in childbirth normally always aimed at their partner. I think your wife needs to realize that in that moment it wasn't about her. Not the asshole. Your wife's being ridiculous and I'm amazed she doesn't have more empathy. Was her labor like easy or something? What a stupid thing to gripe about, and she gave you the silent treatment the first day you brought home a newborn. Is she petty to the point of psychotic? She's not coming from a reasonable place at all, 
that is completely irrational and self-absorbed behavior. Edited wrote new mother initially but you already have a child, my b. Not the asshole she's talking about you ruining her moment? Is she serious? How utterly selfish of her to make that moment all about her and her experience. You're the one going through a major medical moment. I've had three births and about to have my fourth. My husband is 110% aware how major this is and while I've always been excited for his experience in meeting our child. The birthing part is all mine and however I need to be supported is what's going to happen. In immense pain you told her what you needed and instead of adjusting to be more helpful she took offense and made it about her.